Never let them stop you laughing. There's one thing about us English, we can laugh, can't we? Hey, we've got a great sense of humour, we have, you know. It's the greatest country in the world, there's no doubt about it. They all want to fucking come here, don't they? Where are you from, son? Where are you from? You look a bit foreign to me. He's a bit of an Italian in you. He's a bit of Italian in you. Greek. Ooh, that's fucking worse. <laughs> Don't be smashing any fucking plates in here tonight, you know. <laughs> it's nice to have you with us anyway. Will you be going home shortly? Or just, are you... <laughs> You're not stopping for good, are you? I think there's a bit of fucking pucky in you, son. <laughs> Your father must have stopped over at fucking Bangladesh or somewhere, eh? <laughs> hey? Looks a bit Italian to me, that lying bastard. <laughs> Their flag should be a white cross and a white background. <laughs> Is that your girlfriend here? Yeah. Wife? Ooh, you dropped the right fucking bollock there, didn't you? <laughs> What's you know? Well, everybody's got a cross to bear, son, and that's yours. I bet she looks all right after about 25 pints, though, eh? <laughs> her face like a fucking blistered piss pot. <laughs> you will not remember piss pots, will you, son? Very happy days they were, I'll tell you that. You didn't know they were full, so your thumb got warm at the top. <laughs> they were the happy days, the thirties we had now, but we was all happy. He tell you today, don't eat this, don't eat that, that's bad for you, that's bad for you. We ate any fucking thing in the 30s. Oxtails, sheep's heads, didn't affect us. <laughs> fish fingers, ain't no fish had fucking fingers, did you? There's two cows talking in the field. One said, what do you think about that mad cow disease? The other one said, uh, don't affect me, I'm a fucking duck. <laughs> hey. Are you enjoying yourself, son? What a lovely atmosphere in here tonight, eh? Hey? When white people get together, we're going to enjoy ourselves, can't we? <laughs> I think we'll have a lynch in about half twelve with that cunt over there. <laughs> I've got a rope in the car, don't worry about that. Always, always carry a spare rope. <laughs> South Africa's the place, even the liquid sauce sauce is separate back over there, you know. They won't be fucked about, them South Africans. There's two South Africans walking through the jungle. There's a lion there licking on the lion's ass. He said, that's a bit unusual. He said, no, he's just a nigger. He's trying to get the fucking taste out of his mouth. <laughs> oh, the bastards, they're not like us, tolerant. <laughs> what about the kind white South African went up to this nigger with two tires burning round his neck? He says, for fuck's sake, take one off, he said. Never mix cross plies with radio. <laughs> That's what it's all about, a good laugh and living your life as you want to. If you like a smoke, have a smoke. If you like a drink, have a drink. If you like chips, have chips. If you like bread, have bread. Take no fucking notice, these specialists. Have your bed for seven o'clock. Drink and drive if you want. There's nothing worse than having a smash if you're fucking stone cold sober. <laughs> the copper says, all the back ends hanging off. And I don't give a fuck what <laughs> When the police pull you up, you know, they must caution you. Remember that, they must caution you. They'll say to you, you're not obliged to say anything, but anything you do say will be taken down and used in evidence. Your next sentence must be, please don't hit me again, officer. <laughs> you're curing cancer now, be a back number cancer shortly. It's age you've got to worry about. I'm sorry for the young ones, must be a fucking pleasure to get VD these days. Woman went to the vicar, she said, Vicar, I must tell you, she said, I lost my temper this morning. I called a man a fucking bastard this morning. My God, he said, there's no justification for that. She said, well, he put his hands on my breasts. He said, you mean like this? <laughs> I've not forgot, have I? Hey, I've not forgot. <laughs> she said, yes, he said, there's still no justification for that. She said, well, he gave me one. 
He said, you mean like this when he gets on the job and he's banging away there? She said, yes, and he's giving me AIDS. He said, the fucking bastard is. <laughs> I'd love to tell that on stars on Sunday, you know. <laughs> nice religious story like that. They won't let you, you know. You know, my ambition is to go live on the Antique Roadshow <laughs> and say to some old woman, you know that's worth? Fuck all. <laughs> Not a fucking carrot. <laughs> that live on Sunday night, up, wasn't it? <laughs> Man, listen to that screeching bastard, Ali Seacom. Whoever told that man he could fucking sing, I don't know. <laughs> Forty fucking years he'd been singing like that. If you ever see him on the highway, I'll knock my cunt down, I'll tell you that. <laughs> you want to stop singing in Wales and get some fucking call up. You can all sing when you've got fuck all to do all day, can't you? <laughs> Flies a fag up, son. Get any Greek? Have you got any Greek fags? Well, give us one of our own, we're all right then. I'm not proud. Spotting bastard. <laughs> ah, give us a light. I'm not Paul Daniels, you know. What the fucking hell's that? <laughs> the wife, eh? Fucking hell. You've got a fucking good sense of humor, you haven't. <laughs> You foreigners come over here, get all the fucking best girls. <laughs> oh, I'm enjoying this, and the company tonight is absolutely marvellous. Really is, really is. I'm enjoying myself. Lovely. Ever see any Chinese in my audience, you know? Them fucking chinks give me the elbow. Ever see a chink? And I go in their chip shops, they think you're fucking deaf. What do you want? I'll have the fish and keep the shit, me old pal. <laughs> Nothing else? Do you want a fucking tray? Do you want a fucking tray? He said, you want it to the fucking tray? Do you want a fucking tray? I said, you'll get a fucking crack the way you're going on. <laughs> you slant-eyed, yellow-faced bastard. <laughs> Never stuck for a word, you see. <laughs> English fella lived next door. This packy had a goose. He laid egg in his garden. He went round. He said, I've come for me goose egg. He said, me goose is laid egg. He said, oh, no, 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 no. No, the egg belongs to me, he said. The egg is on my land, the egg belongs to me. That is Indian law. He says, give us that fucking egg. <laughs> he said, I'm telling you, the egg is on my land, the egg belongs to me. That is Indian law. He said, well, never mind Indian law. We'll have English law just for a fucking change. <laughs> I kick you in the bollocks, you kick me in the bollocks. The one that gives up first owns the egg. <laughs> as long as that's the law, he said. Wouldn't he give me a right kick in the bollocks? He said, oh, fucking hell, he said. Oh, that fucking smart start, he said. But it's my turn now. He says, keep the fucking egg. <laughs> teacher in school says, good morning, children. They all says, good morning, teacher. One says, gears of pencil. He said, you don't speak like he said, there's nouns and pronouns and verbs. Sheila has no pencil. Terence has no pencil. I have no pencils. They have no pencils. We have no pencils. He said, who's got all the fucking pencil? <laughs> she says, can any pupil tell me who said, give us the tools and we'll finish the job? A great English statesman. And this little coon got up. He said, Winston Churchill, 1941. So that's very good, very good indeed. And a voice at the back of the class said, send the black bastard home. <laughs> and who said that? Enoch Powell, 1968. <laughs> and she's writing on the blackboard in a micro mini skirt. She reached up like that. One of the kids went, <laughs> dropped the chalk, bent down to pick it up. One of the kids went, doo -doo 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 -doo. She said, stand up, the boy with the horn. And all the fucking class stood up. <laughs> OK, look at that. A clean handkerchief. I must have the wrong fucking trousers on here. <laughs> That's my mother, that, you know, since the wife died and back with my little old mum, you'd love her. Ninety-odd years of age, I'd come out tonight, I said, I'll see you later if I don't get a fuck. She said, I'll see you later. <laughs> that fills you full of fucking confidence, that does, you know. 
I was fucking a bird the other week. 36 stone, I was burning my arse on the electric light bulb. <laughs> she says, you're magic. I said, don't turn that fucking light off, whatever you do. I was in bed with the bird last night. I said, am I the first fella you slept with? She said, you will be if you've got to fucking sleep. <laughs> fella went to this brothel. He said, uh, I've only got a tenner. She said, there's nothing here for a tenner, son. Not unless you have the penguin. He said, what's that? She said, got room number seven. I went, Dolly bird, really delicious. He said, I've come for the penguin. I've only got a tenner. She said, give us a tenner. No, he said, what's this fucking penguin bit, look? She said, oh, I don't tell you, it's more than my job's worth. He unzips his flies, drops his cap around his ankles and his underpants, walked away, music started up, and she stripped off slowly. Ooh, and he got a right fucking stalker. <laughs> and she walked back, she got hold of it, she went like that. Ooh, with a song in my heart, <laughs> I behold your adorable thing. <laughs> and he's just about to shoot, and she walked away. He said, where the fucking hell are you going? <laughs> Hey, not bad. 20 stone, like a drink, like a smoke, like a fuck. I do a lot of drinking and fucking smoking, I'll tell you that. But not bad for 61, look at that. Sammy Davis wish he could fucking do that, I'll tell you. Oh, there's a lot of bluffers in this game, I'll tell you. Rolf Farris, what the fucking hell can that man do? My mother thinks a painter and decorator. <laughs> Tie me kangaroo down. What's all that about, the dirty bastards? What's all that about? Tying kangaroos down. <laughs> Two little boys. What the fucking hell's going on? <laughs> hey! The world's gone mad. Little lad fucking his sister says, You're a better fuck than me, mum. <laughs> she says, I know, my dad said. What chance have you got today? What about the Jewish perverts? Says this little girl, you're not going to eat all them fucking sweets, are you? <laughs>